this is the meeting for the Zoning Board of Appeals, January 11, 2024. Um, we have two items on the agenda tonight. Um, the meeting, I don't have the specifics of the publications, but it was pub published. Um, on December 28th and January 4th. Thank you. Thank you, Nathan. Um, okay, so as as we open up uh, initially, um, the members of the zoning board that are here with us, I'm Elizabeth Silver. Um, I'm here with Maureen Scanlon and Sherry Taylor. We will be joined shortly, I hope, by uh, Sarah Northrup. And initially, we it's uh, 535, so we are starting our meeting. Uh, initially, there's a public meeting um, uh, discussion comment period. So Nathan, are you seeing anybody that um, is here for a public comment that's no. not related to either of the matters that we have on our agenda tonight? There's no one else present and just want to add that it is being video recorded, video recorded. Okay, great. Thank you. Um, is there anything else I need to mention before we move into the 530 meeting? Um, Hearing? So there is nobody else, nobody making a general public comment not related to the hearing items. And so you you can proceed to the the uh, the matter, the next. Okay. Yeah. Actually, Nathan, oh, yeah. I see that someone else has entered the waiting oh, room. Oh, you're right. Uh, yes, that's, uh, yeah, that is a general member of the public. I do recognize the name. Let me just admit the person. I do too. Okay. Okay. Or well, we can uh, check before we and move make forward. the co-host. Um, yeah. mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Do you want to check Nathan? Yes. Mr. John Hansel, um, we are just in the general public comment period, the ZBA. Um, and we, so I wonder if you're here to make a public comment about a general matter or a specific matter, you can unmute if you want. Um, no, I'm not here. Uh, watch the, uh, for the, what's going on with Court of Sally street. Okay. All right, so we'll, we'll proceed into that one. All right, so um, at this point, since there is no public comment, our first item on the agenda is the special permit to convert the left side garage of the two family home uh, with non conforming setback, left side setback, etc. I'm not going to go into this because um, this is a 24 quarter Chelly Street. Um, issue map ID 22B 037, but I understand that the appellant uh, Felix and I don't Felix Harvey um, has asked for a continuance of this matter. Is that correct? That is correct. And uh, um, perhaps Felix can speak for the continuous. Sure. Sure. I am um, requesting continuance of the public hearing. Um, until February 22nd of this year. Um, I, I don't know about the date, the continuance, Nathan, are we good on that date? Yes, then we got us figure out the time that that's the um that's the date for where um 129 river bank appeal is scheduled at 5 30 so we need to pick up a time for 24 corticelli sometime after that um that matter okay i'm expecting mr harvey that that matter might take some time the prior one so i i guess the question is do you want to have it on for later that evening or do you want to choose a different date? Or does that I'm, matter? I'm, in terms flexible. Of I'm flexible. I um I did not anticipate having to apply for special permits. And um, so this is a project that I was hoping would get resolved as quickly as possible within reason. And I'm not trying to be pushy. I'm just trying to go through this process. You're welcome to have it on that evening. I just wanted you to be aware that the matter that's already been scheduled may take a yeah some time. I it understand. May it may not. It, I am flexible and I will be patient. Okay. Then uh, Nathan, if you want to go ahead and schedule it for that date, I think we're all here. Yes. Well, let's um. You just we gotta specify a time. Um. 
the previous hearing for the same 129 Riverbank Bank matter took about 25 minutes. Um, if the board anticipates taking it longer than that, then it should be at 6 p.m. or later for the 24 court to jelly. Um, what does the board think? We don't know yet what the issue is going to be then. So I don't think it's possible for us to anticipate how much time we're going to need. It may be very quick um, or it may be something that could drag on for some time. So I'm, I you would, know, how we set it at, at 545 <laughs> okay. and, and then it just happens when, when the other hearing that precedes it finishes. Great. So I put down 545 and, you know, um, just letting the applicant know it may happen at 545 or it may be delayed a little bit on, on February 22nd. Or it may be delayed longer. I, I, I think 545 is a good choice, uh, which means just technically to clarify or uh, get clarification or confirmation, Nathan, what that means is we would not expect uh, Mr. Harvey to be available before 545 to start it. So there, the on uh, one scenario, there might be some lag time in between. And, fine and, with me, I understand. Okay, so I think 545 is wise. Good. All right, so I think we need a motion for the continuance um, today. I'll move oh, yeah. to continue it to February 22nd to uh, be the second item on our agenda at 545 that evening. And do I have a second? I'll second it. Um, but I, just so you notice, it looks like Sarah has entered the waiting room too. Yeah, oh, I just did oh, I, I just, I yeah. just did that. Yeah. Yeah. Let me, let me give her uh, she's a co. Okay, I I gave her co host privilege, but somehow she got kicked out again. Okay, she's co host again. Okay. Um, so I think we need a roll call vote. Yes. So we'll um we'll I'll do a roll call vote on the the full members present. But Sarah, are you able to mute and unmute? Yes. Okay, and this uh, motion is to continue the twenty four Corticelli hearing to February twenty second at five forty five p.m. Uh, by roll call. Um, Elizabeth? Yes. Maureen? Yes. Sarah? Yes. Unanimous. Wait a minute, Sherry? I, I think Sherry has to be the oh, third uh, vote. Yeah, yeah, you're right. My apologies. My mistake. Okay. No problem. Um, I would say yes of, no matter what. Instead of Sarah, <laughs> uh, instead of Sarah, Sherry, what is your vote? Uh, Sherry is yes. Okay, great. Okay, unanimous. All right. Um, Thank you very much. Thank you. Good luck. Bye. So um, is this the window where I um, recuse myself from the next item? Yeah, except I think um, I'm going to have Sarah take over, but I think we can do the minutes now that we have this little lag time, right, Nathan? Yes. Um, unless somebody needs to take a break. Yes. So, um, we're working. Yeah. Uh, well, is that Sarah? Uh, maybe I can get my camera working. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> um, well, um, well, if you're doing the minutes, um, I'll just do it a little out of order. So, uh, we are, so we are reviewing the minutes. Um, so you, I've sent you the minutes earlier to review and Elizabeth has proposed a, a little change. So I can share the change on the screen. Um, I also have two things I'd like to change. Okay, great. Um, okay, go ahead. Um, let me bring up the minutes. So yeah, go ahead, maybe, Maureen. What would you like maybe to- Maybe they concur. Um, yeah. On page one, the second paragraph at, in the 531 item, uh, Sarah Northrup actually should be Maureen Scanlon. David Bloomberg, Elizabeth Silver, and Maureen Scanlon were deliberating. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, thank you for that. Okay. And then the other is just a second page typographic, the bold face paragraph that begins with Scanlon made the motion to continue the hearing to at 5.30 uh, p.m. on. I just like to clean that up to say to yeah. continue the hearing to yeah. 5.30 p.m. on 2.22.24. So remove the word at yeah. and remove the 5.30 following the date. Yes. Just repeat at 5.30. That's it. That's what I have. Great. Thank you. 
Okay. Um, yeah, then I can share the screen for um, Elizabeth's proposal. Uh, so basically, it's the if the board recalls, um, it's the section where there was a more detailed discussion on whether the storage, whether the structure is being used for storage. Um, so there's going to be, do you see the screen share? I do. Mm -hmm. So the Thank one you. with the cross or cross strike through, that's the original text I had put in in the minutes you reviewed. The red text that's not striked out, that's the audition. So it's basically replaces what I've written originally along with more details um, added by um, Elizabeth. And if I can um, just go into my rationale, um, in I think everybody received a copy of the inspection letter um, that was done on this property showing that there were things being put in storage and there was an order to remove. And so in light of that, I thought it was important to um, include more detail about our meeting and the conversation that happened in the meeting in the minutes so that we have that historical reference um, more readily available. We can always go back to the, the hearing tape, but I think this would be good to include in the minutes. Um, I, I appreciate this, Elizabeth, and I, the last sentence, I don't recall, but, um, that I listened to the tape, Maureen, and that's what I, he said. So I don't believe we did not specify storage. I thought we did. That's where, yeah. that's what I questioned. Um, I, I understand. I, I'm including that because I thought, you know, in fairness, it was important to, to do that because he did say it. Perfect. Um, okay. But, um, and I also didn't include your um, offer of making the language more specific because we didn't end up doing that. Um, but I did think in fairness to them, I think it's very clear. And one of the things I did include in there that ultimately we took out was when I went back and I was watching the, and listening to the tape, the appellant was nodding as his attorney was representing. There was nothing being in there and it wasn't being used for storage um, because it didn't translate into actual words. We took that out. Um, but so we can always go back to the tape. But I just thought this piece, it would have been a little disingenuous not to include it for you know the appellant's purposes. I think it's very clear that his attorney is representing there was nothing in there, but just to not not present this in an totally one-sided way. Yeah. Yeah. Well, again, I appreciate your um giving that this attention because it's it's what we rely on more than I, what I've understood from Nathan uh, that these minutes are our legal record, our our, his, our history over the um, recording. Right, but if it ever came to litigation the recording and the tape from the hearing um, would, would obviously would be, yeah. 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 They're a part Thank of the record. You. Thank yes. you. Yep. Yep. Yeah. And to clarify, I have reviewed the attorney's written memo prior to the appeal hearing and he has, you know, he had used more general language. He didn't say um, any purpose, including storage. Storage wasn't mentioned. He just said it's not to be utilized for any purpose. So, um, mm -hmm. he did. It, it is. It is. Um, it is accurate to say in his written memo he didn't specify storage. And I just realized I'm gonna take out <laughs> this. Uh, I'm I'm trying to re remove but abbreviation. Maureen, you know, to your point at the that prior hearing, you know, in the offer to include more specific language. Um, my thinking then was that we don't need more specific language and that to include it might suggest that it wasn't included previously mm. when it clearly was. And I think attorney McLaughlin was making it very clear that he also agreed that it clearly was. So, um, good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, so I think we need There's a nothing else. Can can we just vote to approve these minutes? Yes. As amended. 
as as amended. Um, the red section is as amended. amended. Yes. Okay. Um, and I so, think I will take the vote of uh, Sarah, Elizabeth, and uh, um, Maureen then. But I think we need a motion first, right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Who, who would like to make the motion? I can. I'll move that we accept the minutes as amended here. Uh -huh. I'll second. And, okay. Uh, give me one second. Sorry, I'm just typing. I'm typing the minutes for the minutes as we speak. <laughs> uh, where is that? Okay. And five, four, three. So. Okay, so Scanlon made the motion and, um, or Maury made the motion and Sarah made the um, the seconding. Give me one second. All right, by roll call. Um, Elizabeth? Yes. Uh, Maureen? Yes. Sarah? Yes. Okay, great, unanimous. And it is 551, so um, if the Turn board is ready. So right. I I will uh, recuse myself from the next item, but I will remain in the meeting as a member of the general public. So I assume that means you mute me and I raise my hand. At, should I choose to participate? During the public comment section, yes. Public comment section, yes. And uh, some people recommend turning off the video to, mm -hmm. you know, I know it sounds a little bit too nitpicky, but to, uh, uh, to avoid the appearance, thank you. But you're oh. welcome to stay. And uh, during the public comment section, Maureen can um, make comments as a general member of the public. So is the board ready to proceed with the 198 Nono Tuck Street? Yes. Yes. Um, my name is Sarah Northrup. Sorry I missed you earlier. Um, we will now open the public hearing on the special permit application to extend a single family house, reducing its non-conforming rate set side setback for 198 Nonatuck Street, map ID 23A290. Um, is the applicant here? And um, I would ask you to state your name, address, and uh, present your application. I do not see. I'm the contractor. Do you want me to speak? Or uh, yes. Uh, well, if you, if you are representing the application, yes. Sure. So what um can you ask me again what was I supposed to your your name address and oh yeah so okay. I'm Mitch Parker I'm the vice president at Valley Home Improvement um and we are located at 340 Riverside Drive in Florence thank you um I want to give a a brief description of what you're doing and how it will uh you hope it qualifies for your special permit sure yeah um so the clients came to me looking to make their home a little bit bigger. They're looking to add some living space and a bedroom. Um, and so I went over their house, started looking around um, to try to figure out where we could find some more space. Um, it's a pretty difficult lot. Um, there's really no option to go out to the left um, because of the driveway is there. Um, and to put the addition to have the bedroom on the second floor in order to create the hallway that I need to, to get to the bedroom, I need to put the addition all the way um, in line with the existing building. Um, so it's a little bit closer um, than it is right now, um, but you know, it kind of gets closer as it goes. So it's just you know, a small portion of it um, that's really um, pretty close or, or to the five feet, I should say. Um, yeah, does that answer it? Sure, thank you. Okay. Uh, we have seen the application. Nathan. Sorry to interrupt. Uh, Sarah, just for the record, Mitch, would you mind specifying the, the setback change? What is the current setback and what will be the proposed new setback? Correct. Um, yeah, it should be, let me just pull it up so I have some looking at it. And perhaps, uh, Nathan could share a screenshot of the main site plan. Yes, I will. Uh, all the drawings, just the applicable one. Yes, yeah, I will share the applicable one. Give me a minute. Actually, it's up here. So it's a sheet. I understand it's on sheet seven 
of the uh, proposed uh, plan. So I'm going to share it right now. Uh, OK. So does everybody see it? Yes. Yeah. OK. Yeah. And um, so to answer your question, Nathan, it goes from nine feet to five feet. Thank you. And that's with the use of the pins, right, Mitch? Correct. Yep. Yeah. We found both of the pins. Um, and and, it, and it's from the eaves, not from the building, right? Exactly. Yes. Okay. So we're good. Okay. Do you want me to stop sharing? No, um, no, no. I mean, if you oh. want to, that's fine. I'm, I, you know, I, I'm pretty familiar with um, the materials and and the house itself. Um, I, I did want to clarify because he made the comment to the left, and I just want to make sure that to the left means that he couldn't add on to the left means towards Maple Street. Is that what he meant when he said towards the left? So, um, well, so I, I will quickly add, and if I'm wrong, applicant should correct me. So when he says left, he means looking at the house from Nonatuck Street. So okay. this is a little bit rotated. The plan is a little bit rotated. But when he says left, he means this wider area. Okay, that's what the, I was trying yeah. to find out. Okay. Yes, thank you for the question, concern, Sherry. Thank you for the question. And Mitch, uh, please go ahead. You don't want to mean No, that's correct. I would have yeah. said east too. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very good. So the um, the existing footprint is approximately nine feet from the west property line, and you have an additional proposed uh, three or four feet. I can't quite see the number of encroachment. It would be five feet, so four feet less. Ah, there we go. I see that. And do we have a picture of where the house, the adjacent house is on the next property? Um, I, I can share another screenshot. Um, no. if the, let me just stop sharing so the board doesn't get disoriented. Uh, where did I put that? Give me one second. So the house, while you're looking for that, Nathan, mm -hmm. um, I know we have the comments from 201 which is across the street, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. yes, and it is. And then the ones next, the one next door to it is 202, correct? Correct. Okay. And, and the 202 recently added into a record to say they're supportive, right? Um, I actually have not heard any record. I have not heard any record from um, 202. Um, I have asked through the applicant to mm -hmm. have them contact me via email or have them at the hearing. Um, but I've not had any, had any written or phone conversation with the direct neighbor. And I think I'll share the screen and you can confirm that this is the direct neighbor I'm, house I'm talking about. But no communication except for the person at, uh, the couple at 201, the Ron, Ron Sinis, um, Ron Connies, I'll double check. Uh, do you see the fo photo? Yes. So, so this is the this is the proposed um, the applicant's proposed uh, uh, setback side. This is the applicant's house on the left of the photo, and this is the um, adjacent house. Adjacent house. So it will actually come closer, and you've got no comment from those people. No comment. Okay. Um, May I say something? Mm -hmm. Hi, I, I'm the owner of uh, one ninety eight. Thank you. Um. And I actually uh, went and spoke with Jason, the person next door. Um, and uh, he was just very, I don't want to say dismissive, but he was just like, oh, his attitude was very much like, yeah, do what you have to do. Like he had absolutely, you know, no problem with it. You don't have a firsthand account of that, of course, because he's not here. Um, he also has a very strange schedule and he's very hard to get in touch with. So um, we left a letter in his mailbox seeing if he would get in touch with Nathan and just give him a thumbs up just to, you know, let him know that that he is on board. Um, I can just give you my word, and that's about it. That mm -hmm. he he's, he was very supportive, almost to the point of like, yeah, sure. Why are you even asking me this? That kind of attitude. Well, plus he had notice of it as an abutter, and if he had had any issues, he could have um, filed some mm -hmm. response to to the planning department. So I I don't I don't think that's a concern that he hasn't done that. Yeah, no. I wouldn't I, worry about that. I think also just to add that where we are 
encroaching on our setback. It's it's one single point of, you know, because both of our properties have a funny angled plot plan and both houses recede at an angle on our own property. So I think he was very understanding um, of the nuance of 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 the, the square house or rectangular house on a triangle plot. Right. Yeah, I know I think Mitch put it nicely in the application when he talked about it being quite the challenge. Um, let, let me yeah. note that that is uh, Louise and Michael, is it Martelli? Martindale. Martindale, uh, thank you, it was, it was thank you. Uh, uh, the homeowners. Do we have any comments from DPW? Uh, no comments from DPW. Okay. And so, Nathan, at one point there was some concern about surveys and some concern about easements. I think that's all out the window. We don't need any of that, right? Yeah, yeah. There was uh, some confusion about the accuracy of data. Um, they, they initially then use just survey data. I won't go into details, but now they are using the survey pins. So it's a lot more accurate. And they've in fact gained three feet than what they originally thought was the setback. Right. So, and I will stop sharing the screen. Yeah. So we're going from a non-conforming lot to a non-conforming lot. The original one was, I, what, nine feet going to five feet? Yeah. That's In just yes. that one little space. And everything else is going to retain what it was, given the squarish house on a on a triangular property next to another sort of whatever the word is for something that's not totally square property. Trapezoidal. <laughs> I think Mitch, you've done a brilliant job. I just have to say, with uh, you know what you've come up with. I don't have any concerns or questions. Any other concerns from board members? Questions. As far as I'm concerned, if the neighbor hasn't responded and, and doesn't care, certainly I don't. <laughs> All right. Well, I'd like to open up um, public comment. Is there anyone here? I see a hand raised. Please state your name and address. And uh, Maureen Scanlon. Yes. Maureen Scanlon. I live at 197 Nonatuck, uh, directly across from I think the like longest stretch of frontage of the Martin Dells property. Uh, this I'm completely in support of their effort. They're fabulous neighbors. They've improved the property tremendously. So I know what they're going to do will be well done. I'm probably not even going to see it from my house. So it has no visual impact. But knowing that we're all trying, we're all appreciating young families moving into a neighborhood that has been kind of aging out. I encourage any ways that people can creatively improve properties in a way that enables them to stay living in Northampton and raise their families there. And they've added, they've just made their weird little piece of land into an oasis. They have gardens, they have fruit bearing trees that bring me new birds in my yard. And they've participated in the city's tree planting program that will help traffic calming along a busy street. So I just, I applaud them for this and I appreciate them working with Mitch to do something really creative to stay in the neighborhood. Thank you. Uh, I see we have uh, another person on the call. Is that anyone else want to speak in favor or against this application. You can raise your virtual hand or, or you can you can unmute uh, if you want. I have given everybody co-host uh, privileges. All right, I'm gonna move to close the public comment period. Do we have a second? Close I'll the second. Okay. And by, second. And yep, by, by roll call. Good. Uh, uh, Sh um, Sherry. Yes. Elizabeth. Yes. And Sarah. Yes. And now I will move to. Oh, let's see if I can find this link. Oh, thank you. Just a moment. So, thank you, folks. Um, the hearing is closed. We we may deliberate. We may make a motion, but um, uh, we won't be hearing from any more input at this um, point. 
Any discussion? Let's see. Why don't I make a, the motion and then we can have the discussion. How's that? Very good. Except I can't find the, oh, here we go. Um, I move to approve the special permit to extend single family house and reduce its non-conforming right side setback from about nine feet to about five feet by Valley Home Improvement at 198 Nonatech Street, Florence, map ID 23A-290. Um, and are there any, and before I finish, Nathan, are there any conditions that you think that should be imposed on this or are we good given the updates? Uh, so even with the updates, which removed updated the condition to be less uh, stringent, um, I think there were three points. Let me just bring up the uh, report. Um, and additionally, for, for formality, the board should state some reason why they don't think it will not be substantially more detrimental. Okay. Um, so, I think we can do that in the discussion piece, right? Yes, yes, but, you can. But, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, let me bring up the report and then the conditions. Give me one second. I can even share the screen again with that. So, okay, so these are the recommended conditions and I have shared it with also with the applicant as well. Let me share the screen. So these three points, um, above under staff on this recommendation, if the board wants to quickly check that, these are the recommendations, but of course this board's, you know, board's power to impose them or not. Okay. Okay. I think, I think, um, I'm accepting the representation of the, um, appellants that, that there's a minimum five foot setback. So I think we don't have to put that in as a condition. Um, but I, I do, I do think it makes sense to add the other two, which is um, that the owner, so that there's my motion on the condition that the owner shall not add egress doors to the west, southwest side of the house. And also that all roof runoff be directed toward the rear lot and contained on site, which I know they intend to do, but I just want to make sure that's in the motion. Great. I will um I'll add that to the, those two conditions to the motion then. Uh, and yes, go ahead, Sarah. Discussion. Yes. Um, um, Jerry, you have any concerns? Did you ask? I'm sorry. Yes, Sherry. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't. Yes, hear you. Hear about. Um, you know, I, I I having lived in Northampton as long as I have, uh, everything is non-conforming. Um, it's an old, old state in an old area. Um, from what I can see of the plans, uh, this really isn't going to affect anybody. Um, uh, the only person it potentially could affect is that yellow house to the left. I don't remember the address. Um, and uh, obviously, they have no objections. They've been notified. They obviously made some attempt to speak to them. This clearly is going to enhance their property itself it's going to make their life better uh and i just don't see where this is going to harm anybody by it uh, acceptance and i would yeah. thank you sherry and i would add to that just that it is um not only not less detrimental to the neighborhood but that it actually enhances the neighborhood and mm -hmm. this is the exact kind of uh, project that we want to encourage mm -hmm. i'd like to um Yes, I'm I'm a little concerned about that second suggested uh condition about not adding egress. Um I would hesitate to restrict egress, which is really where you get out of a building is based on, you know, where the walls are and, and distances to other egresses and an emergency, that sort of thing. Um I don't see a harm in putting a door over there as long as it doesn't have a roof or further encro encroachment on the side setback. What was the thinking on that, Nathan? There is, I forgot the exact dimension, there is actually a zoning and building code restriction against uh, egress doors. Windows are a separate matter, but, and oh. that conditions the egress door. So there is, um, I mean, if the board feels strongly about it, we can take the condition out, but even with the condition not there, there's, most likely a possibility that 
they are not legally allowed by the base zoning to add egress doors. So um, they could have they an could, egress window if yeah. it was appropriate. Yeah. And for that reason, we I specifically put the condition as egress, recommended the condition as egress doors, not windows. And if the board feels strongly that the egress door language condition should also be taken out, I mean, it is the board's will. I don't really see a need for it, but I don't object because it is redundant with other regulations. There already are current plans. So do you have an egress door on that side based on the plans? And it's not relevant. I think see no reason not to keep it in. All right. Do we have a second? That would be uh, I'll a second. Okay. So I'm noting, um, is the board ready to vote then? Yes. Yes. Yeah. On okay. favor of call. Okay. Um, it, this is the vote in favor of the special permit application with those conditions. Uh, by roll call, Silver? Yes. Uh, Taylor? Yes. Northrop? Yes. Unanimous. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you very you much. Thank you very much. <laughs> Congratulations. Very good. Good, good. good Thank luck. you. Thank you. Um, and you can follow up with Nathan about the timing from here and you know what you need to do. Of course, right? Yep. Thank there, you. is Good there, night. yeah. There is a state required twenty day appeal period. So I'll get back in get in touch with you to go some more details. But uh, uh, you know, as of now, the your application has been approved by the board. Great. Thank you. Thanks so Thank much, you. Nathan. You were very helpful with us. So. Thank you. Thank you, Great. Great. everybody. All right. Good luck. Uh, Motion to adjourn. Uh, uh, question. None yet. Go ahead, go ahead, Sarah. Go ahead, Sarah. Um, so we, yeah, you discussed the uh, the minutes from um, December fourteenth, correct? Um, uh, what is going on with nice tea? Oh, I it's a positive news. I just wanted to share with you the devol. It it's complete. So uh, nothing bad is happening. I, I don't want to alarm the board. Uh, let me just quickly share. I know everybody eager to probably go home. Let Not me just quickly really share the us. screen. I just wanted to appreciate you for what you did. Do you see the screen? Oh, oh it's nice. Really yeah, so the board, there was a more complicated special permit application and the board suggested that they re redesign the sign to be uh, allowed by right. So that's what they did. They ended up withdrawing the, the original special permit application. So this uh, is the you. result of the by right sign they have put in. And there's Perfect. nothing that in the sign, right? That is nicer than the original. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And there's nothing on the sides, right, Nathan? No, no sides. I, I, I'll double check, but I'm, yeah, I, there were nothing added on the sides. It's great. So, Very good. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. So I just want to, so before the board adjourns, we want to probably discuss um, the next meetings. There are a couple meetings happening. So uh, the next meeting on, oh, actually not, so there's no, um, there's no meeting scheduled for January 25th. And let me, I hope I'm not sharing this. Yeah, there's, uh, let me just double check. So there's no meeting scheduled for January 25th, but there is a um, finding uh, application for um, February 8th that just came in. So there's one item for February 8th. And then on February 22nd, there are two items. Oh, and Maureen has her hands up. Go ahead, Maureen. Uh, Maureen? Well, am I back in as a member? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah yes, yes. Yeah. Sorry Good. about that. that yeah, welcome back. Close. Welcome back. Yeah. Okay. We missed you, yeah. Maureen. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. So, yeah, I, uh, yeah, I wondered about if uh, we should just have postponed those minute reviews till after, since it seems like I should re-enter anyway. But anyway, I'm back in the meeting. So uh, February 22nd, you're asking about, Nathan? Yes. So there's one item on um, February 8th, and then there's one, two items on February 22nd, the 129 Riverbank Road hearing uh, at 530, and then at 545, 24 Corticelli Street, uh, that just came in the one that came in for continuous request. So those are the two items you're looking on February 22nd. And um, 
on the on the eighth, there is limited availability by the board members. On the eighth, uh, already David and Elizabeth said that they're not going to be available, and I don't know the value before the other three board members. And the twenty second, I don't have availability information from the board members. I think. Um... Well, I, I'm pretty sure I can be there, and I'm pretty sure David said he could be there because he may have put this off until he could be. So you might want to just double check, but I'm pretty sure he could be there. And then I'm not sure, are we limited to Maureen here on that one because uh, of prior hearings? Yes, and that was my notes. Yeah, so we, we need, uh, we need uh, David, Elizabeth, and Maureen for that appeal hearing. For the 22nd. Are, you, are you good then, Maureen? I'm available. Yes, I'm good for the 22nd, and I'm also available for the 8th. Okay. And uh, Sarah and Sherry, how about you? What are your availability on the 8th and the uh, 22nd? I don't have my schedule with me. The okay. 22nd, I know that the first part I can't do because I'm not part of that group, but I could do the second one, the Corticelli, if somebody had to drop off. February 8th is like this, where I have to interrupt my day and take an hour out of my work. Okay. Um, so it's potential, but if you had three other members, it would be better. We won't because, I, um, what Nathan just said, both I won't be here and, and I guess David won't either. I am available. Is this, uh, this is a finding. It, it isn't something that could be done by an administrator. Uh, it is a finding, but it does require, typically it requires two out of three votes. So technically, yeah, two votes are, if two members are present, and it seems that we will only have two more members available, um, Maureen and Sarah potentially, if mm -hmm. two members can vote on a yes, uh, it, this can go through on the 8th. And I warned the applicant that he might have to be rescheduled to 22nd or later, but he's aware of potential delays. We don't have to have a quorum at a meeting of the board? In order to go forward, oh well, a quorum for a quorum is generally a, a simple majority. So even though special permits require a full quorum, and I'll double check with Carolyn, but even though a special permits require a full quorum of three people, a finding is one of those um, lesser permits that requires a simple majority. And I think generally in quorum, a quorum can be a simple majority. But I'll double check with Carolyn. So it is very possible that eight might not be viable at all because we only have two members available mm -hmm. so um i i will put down if the board sarah and maureen are okay i'll put down mm -hmm. them as being available uh, sarah are you available potentially yes. on the eight and yes. i'll yeah so we'll only have two members available anyway so i'll check with carolyn about the legality of that and if not um i'll just have to schedule um, more more hearing items either on the on the twenty second potentially if the board well is unless okay. Sherry can get yeah. freed up you know yeah. again because yeah I I can I mean it it requires my carving out time it, in my right. day right um uh and if you really need somebody I probably can do that so could we go back to the twenty second uh the Watling item um in terms of Sherry's participation because. Generally, I mean, I she, can't be. You and I are both associate members, and my understanding is we're both welcome to participate. We simply are not voting members. Do I have that correctly? Like, but you you wouldn't be able to vote, but you would be. I'm, I'm recused from that one. Yeah, let's just yeah, oh, she, she's recused. Let's I'm just sorry. leave it at that. Yeah, she's yeah. recused. It's not simply because you haven't been. Part no, no, no. I I know yeah. it's in the garage. And, and, oh, I'm <laughs> sorry. Thank you. Just, uh, and, and Sherry, you don't need to go into details. You, you're recused. It's okay. That's, that's all. That's, thank that's you all. for that clarification. I just okay. I always welcome because uh, quite often as an associate member, I'm not a voting member because right. our three, you know main members i don't know what we call them full members are uh, are voting but i no no i'm recused that okay one. thank you all I, right can i, I do the motion to adjourn now <laughs> you may yeah all right okay uh silver is making the motion to adjourn who's seconding i, I can again <laughs> okay uh by 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 uh, by roll call i'll do the full members um silver yes northrop yes and uh, Taylor. Yes. Okay. Um, adjourning.